Good morning. We are so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. It is early, not even five in the morning. I got up at 2.30 here at Midway Airport. Let's go to Florida for the day. We are in Orlando. I'm in my rental car. It's like a little, I don't even know, it's a Chevy. It's a little itty bitty car, but uh, super easy. Apple Car Play works on this car, so that's cool. Um, I'm gonna head over to Apopka where my boss lives. Gonna stop at a Publix nearby. I have a cup of coffee I got off the plane. Flight was really good, got in 30 minutes ahead of time and read a lot of Stanley Tucci's taste book. So I'll get a good chunk of that done and out of the way on the way home if I don't sleep. So time for a little drive on over to a pop gun and hang out with a bunch of people from work. Good morning from Chicago. <laughs> we are headed into Teddy's first nap and there was a Miss, a new Miss Rachel out today and we were all very excited. Um, you are just taking it low and slow, but I think once I get this little one down, me and James are gonna do something extra fun. He's so happy today. You happy baby? Wow, you got Jimsy's little smock on. We're painting, and we have Disney music on. Ooh. We're doing lunchtime over here. Some peanut butter toast, yeah. some seaweed, some tomatoes, a <laughs> little bit of everything. I am making myself something from my childhood that I rarely have the ingredients for, and that is a mayo and American cheese sandwich. I've <laughs> not had this in probably a decade or longer, but I'm, <laughs> I'm very excited. I thought I was like, oh my gosh. I actually have the ingredients. I'm gonna do it. Hi. 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 We're still here. <laughs> we are in my room while I edit. James did take a nap. It took a little bit for him to go down because recently we've been able to like work it out on Peter's like break that Teddy hangs out with him while I put James down. Um, but today I kind of had to like manage Teddy cooperating, but it ended up working out, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're just in here hey. while I end it. Hey. Yeah. Hey. He's super happy. Hey. Yeah. Um, he's got Dumbo. I'm just chilling in the bassinet. He's kind of bouncing around the bed, pack, pack and play the bassinet. Um, but yeah, just we're we're over here just. Doing our thing. Hey. Jealous of daddy. Look at that smile with hey. all those teeth. Look at that teethy, toothy hey. grin. Hey. You're sweet. Hey. You're sweet. You're sweet. Are you going to go to night night? Many hours later. So I had a really good time at my holiday party with my team. It was so great seeing them actually in person compared to just a Zoom call. But guess what? I got a few hours now before uh, my plane ride home. So I figure, you know, you know, why not? Why not? It's basically on the way to the airport, right? <laughs> 
We're back in Disney World. Two and a half hours. Let's have some fun. It's been a, a few years since I parked this far back. That's literally the corner spot right there in the back. Here's my car. What? But you know what? That's all right. It'll just be a nice little walk. In Epcot, I can admire a lot of world sh of Spaceship Earth. I'm just excited that I get to snag these quick couple hours here. Um, I think if I did my math right, I still keep an eye on traffic, but I think if I'm in the car at eight, not leaving the park, but in the rental car at eight, that'll get me back to MCO with enough time to return the car and to get through security for my 10.30 flight. Um, so, I have about two and a half, give or take, um, hours for Epcot. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Actually, my, my goal is to just be in World Showcase. I might hop on Spaceship Earth if it's not too bad of a, a line, but it's a gorgeous night. It's not humid. There's actually a slightly, slightly cool breeze. I wanna say, I'll have to look at my phone, but I'm gonna say it might be 70. Yeah, it's a gorgeous night. I really wish my friends were with me. You know how I mean, Sarah and the kids. Um, but I will be thinking of them and vibing about them while I go play. Here we are, Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. The Burkhart family will not be here before this is over. So this is a sweet little treat that I'm gonna add to our holiday festivities this year. <sighs> this is, this is my happy place. If your happy place is where you go after this world ends, this is where I go. Sarah also sent me an article. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, where to meet can be seen from just above the walls over here. And you can, right there, that little mound. That's Safiti right there. I didn't know she was gonna be part of that exhibit. And you can really see her better from this angle. My only thing is like, she's gonna look, be big when we're standing over there, but she's not gonna be life-size and that's gonna throw me off of why. Like, I was actually pretty pumped about this pavilion, but I'm not sure. I'm as jazzed about it with Tafiti there. Tafiti will be cool, but I feel like it won't feel as pseudo-realism as I wanted it to be. But I'm sure it'll still be wonderful, wonderful to, be, to walk around and hopefully have some good music. So with seeing the parking lot the way it is and the crowds coming in, and it's the weekend, I think we're gonna have an evening rush. So I don't really trust any of the times for rides and I didn't really anticipate going on any rides. I also didn't anticipate the sun still being up when I got here. So I'm pretty pumped that I've got two full hours of World Showcase, so I'm gonna go on Figment. The Imagination Institute, gotta love it. Maybe maybe James or Teddy will be up on this wall someday. Wouldn't that be something? Welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive through open house. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's over here. So let the good times roll. Upside down. Now you're talking. That's the best idea you've had all day. Now here's a real open house. Come on in. Our tree feels extra magical tonight. Evie, you gotta be on the prowl because our packages keep on saying that they're here and they're not. People who are delivering packages this time of year, wow, are working really hard. And I just feel like our apartment, there's, I don't know, maybe people are just like picking things up and thinking that they're for them if they ordered a lot of things and like, Amazon packages look the same. I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to like be an understanding human right now <laughs> and um, say that nobody's doing it on purpose. But yeah, there's jammies for the kids for Christmas Eve that I was thinking like I was gonna take pictures of them tonight by the tree and be like kind of a backup Christmas card photo if we end up not getting to the gazebo. Um, and that was like our activity for the night. Just one of the things that I plan on doing. Um, 
But yeah, only one of their jammies arrived. It does say on Amazon that they were like two separate orders, like packages technically. So who knows, the other one might show up. Um, but another, another saga of something saying it's here and it is not. <laughs> Say, Mom, it, it has only happened two times. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's only been, it's been like a matter of what? A few days? <laughs> Three days? James is just snoozing away. All right. I'll let you get back to the, the Epcot stuff. I know, I know that's more fun. Whoa, I didn't realize Joy was back. Hey. Wait a minute, does that mean if Joy's here, does that mean Ralph? Ralph, where are you Ralph? Oh, Ralphie. Guys, guys, you're not gonna believe it. 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 You're not gonna believe it, but you're not gonna believe it. 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 You are not. You're not gonna believe it. You are not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe it. Oh. Coffee number 73849289981. And we're back. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Just so everybody knows, these are back up and running. Cartoons are playing. And it's absolutely gorgeous in here. I can't believe I'm back. And I come out to a nighttime Epcot. It's almost like beauty was just thrust upon my evening. I mean, look at Test Track, look at the reverse waterfall. Spaceship Earth lit up. <sighs> it's gonna be the most endorphin stimulating two hours of my life, I think. Look at that. I literally faced on Sarah and I almost burst into tears the fact that they have a coffee back at DVC Lounge. So I was like, it's almost like we should just move back or something. Like now that the DVC lounge is like healed and now back to its natural state. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna kick it down a notch. I, I realized just now that there was a lot of clips, it was a high intensity. Peter Brookhart's gonna calm down now. I'm gonna sip up on my strawberry cream soda and my coffee. And I'm gonna peruse World Showcase for the next two hours. No rides. I could if I wanted to get crazy and try to catch a seven o'clock candlelight procession, but I think I'd rather just mosey around and enjoy the showcase. So, let's see where the night goes. I also have to eat dinner. This is for you, Jamesy. Jamesy loves these figments on this wall right here. He likes to walk up to them and poke them. So, there you are, Jamesy. Wish you were here. All right, so I got to World Showcase, and I was at first upset because I went to Canada first, which you know we typically try to do Mexico first. But I went to Canada first because I wanted the Yule Log. It's one of our favorite festivals, the holidays. Canada doesn't have it. Anyway, they have other Yule Logs in the festival, but the festival log that we like was at Canada. So I was bummed about that. But then it hit me that I was like, oh, Festival of Holidays is more dessert based. What am I going to eat? Because I want to get festival because it's the only time I'm going to be here this year. Then I forgot about Ohio. We got potato logs. And pastrami on rye. So I'm going to hop in line. I did get a blacksmith from the UK. So I'm going to hop in line there and get pastrami on rye and potato log. And if you couldn't tell, the fact that I got up at 2.30 in the morning and barely got any sleep last night um, is affecting my mental state. So. There's that, but if it's gonna affect your mental state anywhere, World Showcase is the place you want it to be. Come on now, look at that. That's like 550. Are you kidding me? The potato lakas. They got some good, good restaurants near us in Chicago, and this looks pretty good. And all these high tops, but you must, you must be on our favorite table. Come on. I'm gonna devour this and then just continue my stroll through the greatest place in the entire world. I love this crowd tonight. They got a good vibe. It's not a, a hectic, busy, vacation-y kind of crowd. It's like a Epcot's the best kind of crowd, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna scope out some Mitsukashi before I chill at the back of the American Pavilion to hear some of the candlelight procession in 10 minutes. I think a lot of what Disney parks, especially in Florida, are like the prime time things or the underappreciated things, like here in the Japan Pavilion, the Kauai. Japan's cute culture display. I think this thing is a sweet little nook to hang out in and see cute, cool things and very culturally significant things. 
that like you don't realize how well curated this thing is. I love it. I love it. Yeah, we got some holiday markets. I think there's a lot of Monsters Inc. representation in the Festival of the Holidays. The candlelight procession starting in like five minutes. It is Damon John, I think his name is. He's the founder and CEO of FUBU. The orchestra is coming out now. The singer should come out next. So I'm actually going to hang out by the fountain here and kind of listen in for a song or two before I finish the second half of World Showcase. There's a very specific store I need to go to in Germany because it hasn't been open since before the pandemic. Oh, here we go. Here's the choir. I've never watched them like process in before from back here. This is cool. I whipped up some homemade mac and cheese for me and the boy. We also have some avocado and crackers, some salami. It's a simple night. It's just the two of us. Got Bluey on while Teddy takes his last snooze of the day. This is the cutest thing. Evers. In this episode, they do their arms like that to do magic. Evie, stop being a beggar. And James is doing it too. It's so stinking cute. Evie, pull yourself together. All right, 7.52. I kind of have a hike to do, but this is ending. It was beautiful. All right, so I'm going to stop in the Germany Pavilion. I'm kind of doing expedited right now, version of World Showcase. I met up with some new friends, some new friends that I knew we'd be great friends with. Um, they're actually cousins of the Earharts. They live down here now. So I think um, we'll, we'll hang out again soon, maybe in January. And... Well, it'll be a great time, all of us and them and the air hearts, but I was kind of bummed when I got here and realized that the spirit of Christmas, like all the different countries, the rep cultural representatives of Christmas, aren't going on during the weekend. I thought that was kind of strange. Well, I think it's Sunday to Thursday, so Fridays and Saturdays. They just don't have them during the day. Um, but honestly, a lot of the festivities for Festival of the Holidays happen earlier. Uh, like the joyous celebration happens like the last shows at four, the carolers versions of um, Voices of Liberty is during the day. I think the last showing of that's two or three because then they get ready for candlelight procession. So, Festival of the Holidays is really great. Um, there's a lot going on, a lot for of different kinds of activities for different kinds of families and different things to do. Um, but it's kind of like spread out through the day, which is actually a great way to have a full Epcot day. Very holiday centric. Um, but when you only have two and a half hours, it's hard to squeeze a lot in. But I have really enjoyed my time. Just got to people watch, got to hang out, got to meet new friends. Now I have to make my way back to the car. Yes, here we go. Some Snow White stuff. That's really cute. We've seen some of the Snow White stuff elsewhere. Oh my gosh. 85 years. Um, that wall was definitely not there last time. So it is significantly smaller, but some of the classic things are still here. The, the traditional German steins, which you guys know we're big fans of. The clocks. The classic teddy bears. So cute. So cute. Oh. Yes. Yes. <gasps> I love it all. Kind of want that. I do believe we'll see this tree again as a family because I think they'll keep it up for Dopey Weekend. But my anxiety has kicked in about the fact that I'm not in the car and my flight leaves and two hours and 20 minutes. So, we're getting in uh, speed walk mode. I'm like, a, kind of experiencing one of the shows right now, but there's no time to stop. But, oh my God, is this not one of the most beautiful things you've seen in your entire existence? Because the answer is yes. In fact, it is. 
All right, so I made it. Got an hour until boarding, so hopefully security is not bad. I almost did not make it with the gas I had, but we made it. It's been a fun, adventurous, long day. Hey, where are we at? I came with two big bags. I'm leaving with just this. <laughs> I've never taken the tunnel before to the terminal. I think I'm just like literally walking underneath like where all the coach buses are, like Magical Express. But hey, if this is gonna be quicker, saving a couple seconds here, before I get to see what the security weight is, then I'll take it. Well, it's such a late flight that all the stores are closed. There's this beautiful tree. And my anxieties can be squashed. It's a literal like walk up wait, three to seven minutes. No wait. So please come oh back. Oh my, I this literally just went through all of security. This is Orlando Mayor, Buddy Dyer, and we hope you enjoyed your Orlando experience. I literally just went through, I walked through security. I've never gone through security faster than what I just experienced. Walked up, there was no way to check my ID or my boarding pass. I walked up, waited for one part to go through the metal detector and, and an x-ray scanner. That was literally like two and a half minutes. I'm already good. I, I boarded in 55 minutes. I thought I was gonna like risk missing my flight. Whew. Well now I'll get, I'll get to the terminal and I'll get to hang out. All right friends, I'm fading. I'm about to get to the terminal. They, they switched gates, but just by a few feet. Um, I'm gonna try to read some, but we, we board in like 10 minutes. Um, we'll see if I'm gonna sleep. Which probably should on the way home. I don't know how full the flight is. It's looking empty in here, but I'm pretty far down in the plane list, I think. But I could be also be like the last person. So I don't know if I'm gonna read Stanley Tucci's book. I read 100 pages so far, or if I'm gonna sleep. But I realized going home, by the time I actually get home, I will almost be at 24 hours. I'll be like 22 and a half or 23 hours, depending on what time I actually end up getting home. So. Hopefully I sleep on the flight. But it was a great day. A lot, a big, long, adventurous day, but it was a good day. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. I was at that gate right there when none of these things were open. And I'm back. And none of these things are open. <laughs> it's a crazy kind of day. Um, funny enough, like this is all I have to my name. So I'm walking straight out to the car parked over by the CTA parking area. I'm back in the cold weather of the Chicago. So I just gotta walk over to the car, get it on the parking spot, and drive home. It should be a breeze considering it's 12.40 in the morning. So I'm hoping to be back home 1.15, let's say. Keep my fingers crossed. I wish I could bottle and deliver to all of you the very strange feeling it is to have a push and pull of having two places I am so deeply and utterly in love with. Like, come on. Chicago. Come on. Doesn't get better than that. Even when it's gloomy and cold and rainy, it looks amazing. And just like that at 1 10 in the morning, Park the car back in the parking lot. What a day. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.